What is going on everyone? Jim here, RCAD. Excuse the camera flash on our box here. Doing a little unboxing video for y'all today. Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate. Not a new vehicle by any means, but definitely new to the channel. This is my brother's new vehicle. Just showed up today. Ordered from Traxxas directly. Let's take a look at it and see what she's all about. Moving around uh, to the right side of the box here. Just has what vehicle is marked in the box, which is the orange and blue. They also have a green and blue there. Taking a look at our information. Important, this product is not designed for children or minors younger than 14 years old. Responsible adult supervision is required during operation and maintenance. This is a high performance model which is not intended for use on public roads or in congested areas where operation may conflict with or disrupt pedestrian or vehicular traffic. Read all enclosed information before operating. Fully illustrated step-by-step -step instructions describe adjustment, operation, and required maintenance procedure. This model should not be operated in a crowd, indoors, or without adequate space. This vehicle is fully assembled, ready to run, and requires the following items for operation. Four AA alkaline batteries, a battery with a Traxxas high current connector, six or seven cell nickel metal, two or three cell lipo, and a compatible charger. These are available from your local hobby dealer. In an effort to continuously upgrade our products, Traxxas reserves the right to make improvements and modifications to this model, which may not blah, 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 blah. So let's look at all that nonsense. Let's take a look at the other side. Flip it around to the other side of the box here, showing a green and blue Traxxas slash battery and charger not included. 60 plus miles per hour, 100 plus kph per hour, kilometers per hour. And it's showing us some gear ratios back here. That's pretty cool. Looking down below, stock gearing, optional included gearing, optional gearing sold separately, see your hobby dealer. Once again, what you will need to complete your truck. Uh, looking at our gear ratios, fun zone, top speed. All right, battery selection and pinion gear selection determines your speed, how fast you want to go. All right, so looking at here on a 7-cell nickel metal, nominal voltage 8.4, 4,000 milliamps, 13-tooth pinion gear, 54-tooth spur gear, 35 miles an hour. Same battery combo, nickel metal, 18-tooth uh, pinion gear, 54-tooth spur for 40 plus. Switching over to 2S LiPo, 4,000 plus milliamps, 40 plus miles an hour, 19 tooth pinion gear, 54 tooth spur. Switching over to 3S LiPo, 11.1 volts, 45 plus miles an hour with a 13 tooth, 54 tooth combo. And for 60 plus miles an hour, they're recommending a 19 tooth pinion, 54 tooth spur gear, 3S LiPo, 5,000 plus milliamps. So pretty cool that they show a little gearing chart on the back. Flipping the box around, taking a look at the other side, showing the green and blue and black Traxxas Slash there. Top qualifier radio, Traxxas Link wireless module included. Traxxas Valenian VXL 3S brushless combo, 3500 KV. Included Ultimate Edition accessories, so it looks like we've got some uprights and steering blocks and what have you. And checking out one of the other sides here. We have our Pro Graphic Painted Body, our Traxxas Valinian Brushless Power System, the VXL 3S 4-Pole 3500 KV Waterproof Brushless Combo, Torque Control Slipper Clutch with the flash blocking it, Extruded Aluminum Drive Shaft, the 2075 Metal Gear Digital Servo, Heavy Duty 4mm Steel Turnbuckles right there. This must be our extruded aluminum and drive shaft right there. What are we looking at here? Bell crank steering with integrated servo saver. X hardware included. Waterproof receiver box. TSM installed. There's a receiver box. They're pointing out some hardware. Your bell crank steering system. Looking over here at our radio top qualifier TQI intelligent radio system. Traxxas Link wire module included, so you can download the app and get to see some real-time speed and data on your cell phone. Telemetry sensors installed. Control your transmitter settings. Manage your models and profiles. Customizable dashboard. Intuitive graphical interface. <laughs> so yeah, you can get this little app for your cell phone. And it shows you how fast you're going and all that other good nonsense. So that's pretty cool that it includes the Traxxas Link and the Traxxas Stability Management already installed. 
uh, that Traxxas Stability Management might makes all kinds of little micro adjustments per second to help you keep control of your vehicles. Flipping our box around again and taking a look at some of the other goodies that it has included on the vehicle. Uh, pro level performance. Included Ultimate Edition accessories. Looks like we have aluminum C-hubs and steering blocks. Included Ultimate Edition accessories. Those are some aluminum uprights. Front and rear sway bars. Blue anodized PTF coated GTR shocks. Pretty nice. New extreme heavy duty drive shafts. BF Goodrich replica tires. Aluminum wheel nuts. Along with the low center of gravity chassis. Uh, that's pretty cool. I believe that's like a $70 item for that chassis. The new low center of gravity chassis holds the battery and electronics 26 millimeters over one inch below the drive shaft for the lowest possible center of gravity without compromising off-road ready ground clearance. So pretty cool that it has a low center of gravity chassis already installed on it. I got my brother out here. This is his truck. Well, let's crack her open there, E, and see what she looks like on the inside. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're just opening it up backwards. Oh well, you know. No directions on the box as to which way was up. I'll take a shot in the dark at that. Wow. Holy cow. Every bit as big as the... Yeah, it's definitely yeah, every bit as big as the low seat, that is for sure. Um, well, that's a pretty big truck. Sweet. Nice looking wheels, really. Oh, yeah. Like a black chrome, kind of. Satinish. Mm -hmm. Blue wheel nuts on it. Some fat shocks on there. Those oh, are super yeah. fat. Easily the diameter of my thumb. Wow, this is sweet. All right, let's put this baby on the bench and see what she looks like. Quick look at our transmitter. Our top qualifier TQI transmitter. Similar to the TRX4 Broncos, except no rocker switch right there. It does have the little imprint for it to shift from first to second gear. No locker switch up on the top. But it does have the telemetry link already installed. So he just needs to download the app and then he'll be all set with the telemetry and the speedometer and all that good nonsense. Taking a look at our manual and all that good stuff. We'll have to bust that out of the bag and see what all that entitles. See a cross wrench in there, a couple different cross wrenches, some other wrenches, the Allen wrench, some body washers and pins. Haven't seen those since the sledgehammer. Block of foam, yeah, body washers. <laughs> they look like sledgehammer body washers, too. Probably leftover stock. <laughs> Get the manual cut open here real quick and take a peek at that before we look at the truck, just so we can see what all's in here. I know this is not the first Traxxas Slash Ultimate unboxing by any means, but it's definitely new to the channel. I'm curious to see how everything's gonna stack up against the uh, low C10 there That's as well. Taking a look at the TQI Performance Guide. I'm flipping the pamphlet open. I'm trying to get it so we're not getting any reflections here. So they got this in the App Store, Google Play. So you can download this to your phone or your device. Traxxas Link Wireless Module. Wireless adjust your transmitter settings and receive real-time telemetry from your model with Traxxas Link. The Traxxas Link Wireless Module sold separately, installs in minutes, and connects via Bluetooth to your Apple iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Android device, opening the door to a whole new world of performance, data, control, and tuning flexibility. The wireless Traxxas Link allows a friend to remotely monitor record performance data such as speed, RPM, voltage, and temperature while you drive. So that's pretty cool if you're recording a video or something on your cell phone and uh, you could have a friend dialed into your vehicle and be able to give you all the updates on what's going on. Intuitive graphical interface. The Traxxas Link app combines with a high quality display on your device to provide an intuitive high definition graphical interface that makes it easy to access and explore all powerful tuning options built into every Traxxas TQI radio system. Moving right along. Controlling your transmitter settings. Access functions such as throttle and steering sensitivity, endpoint adjustments, 
throttle and braking percentages, servo reversing, and much more. Simply tap and move the sliders to experience the changes live on your model and save your settings as drive profiles. Well, that is really cool. I tell you what, because it is a pain in the butt <laughs> to manually go in here and go through the mode button and all the little red and green flashes until you get all the settings where you want them to be. This definitely simplifies things a little bit. All the adjustable sliders, that's very cool. Manage your models and profiles. Traxxas Link automatically stores and retrieves the data profile information for up to 30 models. The Traxxas Link app allows you to visually manage all of your models and profiles for easy access and customization. That's pretty neat. Customizable dashboard. The Traxxas Link app allows you to customize the dashboard to display the gauges you want to see. Choose analog dials or digital readouts. Up to nine gauges can be displayed at once for real-time data from all of your sensors. See real-time speed. The Traxxas Link app delivers real-time telemetry data so that your gauges deliver instant response. Record your runs for later playback to review voltage, temperature, and of course, top speed. Definitely cool. There's a peek at all that nonsense. Complete TQI telemetry system. Pairing up with your radio or transmitter. Looking at your receiver. Up to three standard sensors. Up to six plug and play sensors. Uh, telemetry expander. GPS speed telemetry module. So that's a look at that little guy. Flip it over on the back. TQI telemetry is complete system of real-time data transmission. Okay, we just kind of went through all that nonsense. I'm looking at some of the add-on items down here. Telemetry sensors, RPM long and short, voltage long and short, connector power tap with cable, uh, sensor and detectable temperature, sensor auto detectable voltage, different size spur gears, 45, 50, 55, telemetry trigger magnet holders for the spur gear, telemetry trigger magnet holders for the differential, center differential. Flywheel with magnet, flywheel large for use with starter boxes, so that's for nitros. Sensor ready gear covers, 1 16th VXL model, so they got your different models. Stuff with the Titan motor. Uh, more sensor ready stuff. And what have you, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Looking at our telemetry expander. The GPS module 2.0. And then a bunch of different mounts for a bunch of different vehicles. So that's a little look at two of the included brochures or guides there. And then opening up the manual uh, to the most important part of the manual, I'd imagine. Uh, showing our vehicle, all our items, camber link and front bumper, blah, 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 blah. Showing our included tools that came along with it. This 2.5 millimeter L wrench, a 2.0 millimeter L wrench. 1.5 millimeter L wrench, shock wrench, uh, four way wrench, cross wrench, box wrench, 8 millimeter, 4 millimeter wrench, uh, body clips and body washers, some battery foam spacers, a suspension multi tool, and an optional pinning gear. And we looked at our pinning gear, I believe it's an 18 tooth. It might be a 19 tooth, but pretty sure I counted out 18 on that. Required equipment, of course, your battery, charger, blah, blah, blah. Uh, quick start guide, prepare your model. So looking at the Traxxas LiPo batteries, um, 3S and 2S, all 25C. That's a big disappointment. Huge disappointment. Not much punch out of 25C. Looking at the next page on the manual, operating your radio. Everybody pretty much knows all that stuff. Your steering trim. This is one thing that I wanted to point out is the multifunction knob. Traxxas stability management adjustment on the multifunction knob on your transmitter. So our multifunction knob right there. Zero being the neutral position up at the top, 12 o'clock position. Turn this knob to adjust your Traxxas stability management. The recommended default setting for your vehicle is a 12 o'clock position. The zero mark on the dial. Turn the knob clockwise to increase assistance or counterclockwise to decrease the assistance. To turn the TSM off completely, turn the knob counterclockwise all the way to the left. So all the way until it stops. So that is pretty cool that you can dial up or dial down your Traxxas stability management. 
And here's a little basic description of your Traxxas Stability Management. Your vehicle is equipped with the Traxxas Stability Management, or TSM. This exclusive feature allows you to experience all the speed and acceleration that was engineered into your Traxxas model by helping you to maintain control of your vehicle in low traction situations, like traction control. TSM helps provide straight-ahead full throttle acceleration on slippery surfaces without fish channeling, spin outs, or loss of control. TSM also dramatically improves braking control, high speed cornering, and control is also made possible as TSM makes corrections for you without intruding on your fun or creating unexpected side effects. <laughs> for more information, uh, visit Traxxas, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, there we go. A quick look at all that. Then you have your basic ESC settings and whatnot in there. So basically just wanted to point out that Traxxas stability management and all that other good nonsense. Peel the body off this thing and see what she looks like. He's got to pull a couple pins to get to the plastic mm. here. Can you give your hand there, pal? Yeah, my, uh... Got machine shop really, hands? Uh, getting really bad. All right, taking a quick peek here at the Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate Edition. Nice looking bumper, pretty stout back there for the rear bumper. Almost like a wheelie bar at the angle that it's got going on there. Supposedly heavy duty CVD shafts here. Plastic, aluminum uprights, plastic wheel hexes, some pretty fat shocks on it. Aluminum body, plastic caps, plastic adjuster. Little foam spacers on the body mounts, that's pretty cool. A little body saver. Extruded aluminum drive shaft in the middle, center shaft. On our center uh, differential gear here, we have a sensor being plugged in there for our TSM, for the Traxxas Stability Management, as well as for the Traxxas Link with all the data. Let's look at our VXL 3S Valinian ESC 3500KV motor. There are quotations on waterproof on both of these. I have one in my WL Toys 10428A, and I've hydroplaned it several times. Uh, I actually turned that vehicle into an amphibian, for those who don't know. And it's seen all kinds of water, and it's, uh, it held up pretty good, but uh, not meant to be submarine, FYI. Taking a look at our Traxxas high current battery connector here. Um, three wires coming off of this one, so this is for some of your data for the Traxxas link which will tell you your battery level and all that other good nonsense. Moving along to the chassis, this is the Traxxas Low Center of Gravity Chassis, which comes equipped on the Traxxas Ultimate Edition, which once again drops your battery roughly one inch below the drive shaft, getting your weight a little bit closer to the ground. Moving on to the front, more of our aluminum upgrade goodies here. Once again, plastic wheel hexes. Looking at all our links and what have you. Pretty heavy duty links there. They're nice and solid. Taking a look at our sway bars. And where they attach to, wrapping right around here. Threaded rod going between the two end links here. Front bumper looks pretty nice. Nice angle on it, little built-in dampener right there. Taking a peek at the underside of the vehicle here. Traxxas embossed on the bottom of the chassis. Uh, kind of a three-piece design here with the chassis. Rear section being bolted on, front section being bolted on. See your bell crank steering system there. Ball bearings in the front differential. You can see those shining through with the blue seals. And before we slap the tire back on, just noticing a couple little screw holes right down here. And this rear upright. Not too sure what these are for. If anybody else knows, please let me know. I would uh, greatly appreciate that. Maybe that's for a sensor or something. I'm not too sure. Taking a look at the tires, since we have one of them off, you have good rich mud terrain. Pretty nice tire. Compound doesn't feel too bad, even though it's about 30 degrees in my garage, so uh, hard to judge at the moment. Relatively stiff foam. Say four wheel drive front and rear, two wheel drive rear. Plastic wheel, plastic wheel hex. Satin chrome finish there. The vehicle around to the passenger side. 
passenger underside. Under steering bell cranks there. So yeah, it appears that you'd have to remove this whole front lower section if you wanted to change out your servo on it. From what I can see. Attention, you definitely want to read this card before you get started. As far as making sure your ESC is set for your battery type. From the factory it is set up for a lipo um, as well as being set up for low voltage detection so if you're gonna run a nickel metal you have to change out your ESC settings another peek at the VXL wires look a little bit tight right through here definitely a little taunt not too happy about that I'd rather see a little bit of slack in here so we'll probably loosen up these hold down points a little bit and see if we can get a little bit more slack out of this because that seems very taunt you can almost play that thing like a guitar string. Suspension seems nice and plush. My brother does have the Traxxas Valinian electric fan on order for it, so we'll be installing one of those here pretty quick. Take a peek at our rear sway bar back there. Pretty hefty. Let's get the body on this girl and see what she looks like all assembled. Taking a peek at the body, all assembled. Yeah, nice looking truck, that is for sure. Uh, body, man, this thing looks so much better in person than it does online when you're looking at it on the photos. A lot of detail in the paint that you just don't notice when you're looking at it online. All this metal flake that's in here. Tracks his... Pass his name and radio control. Tracks Traxxas, tracks Traxxas, all over the place, kind of hidden in there. TRX up on the roof. A lot of custom stuff going on here in the graphics. Pretty cool. It has all that stuff in there. Once again, you just don't notice all these little details when you're looking at the pictures online. Really nice looking truck. Suspension is definitely plush, I tell you what. Very sharp looking vehicle. And around to the back. Wheels recess nicely into the body. No rubbing going on. Yeah, that is a pretty nice fitting body all in all. Very sharp truck. So there we go, everyone. First look at my brother's new Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate Edition. Once again, not a new vehicle, but new to the channel. And we can't wait to get this thing out and see what it can do. Uh, plan on doing some side-by-side -side shootouts here between my new Team Low C10 SCTE 3.0 and the Traxxas Slash as well. So going to have some friendly competition coming up here this spring. For those who follow my channel, for those who care, I plan on starting that little matchup. VXL to VXL. I'm going to take my Traxxas VXL 3S brushless combo, the one that I bounce around from vehicle to vehicle, install it into my Team Losi vehicle, and see how it performs up against the Traxxas Slash Ultimate Edition. So we'll have VXL stacked up against VXL, Traxxas Stability Management against Bare Bones, <laughs> and see how things pan out. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably upgrade to a different motor and ESC for that truck. But that is going to do it, everyone. Very much appreciated for y'all sticking around and watching the video. As always, the questions and comments are always welcome. And we will see you all on the next one. Thanks again.